Some smart renovation ideas for you when you get your house leased out. Today, LED lights are relatively inexpensive to install and they don't produce anywhere near the heat that a regular light fixture installs. So when you're getting your house ready for lease, consider changing all of the recessed lighting uh, to LED lighting. These LED trim kits will change the uh, light settings to five different settings and they cost about $20 per fixture to do. They last 15, 20 years and you never get a call saying, oh, the light in the kitchen is out and I can't reach it. Could you come and change it? We also recommend that we put the LED lights in the hallway above the stairs because usually that's tenant calls and says, I can't reach that light. I don't have a 15 or an 18 foot ladder and I'm worried about getting up on the ladder. So changing the light kit out ahead of time would be a great idea. Another recurring large expense at a property is keys and locksmiths and can you change my locks? So we've started to install keyless locks. They've got a combination code that can be easily changed by the property manager between tenants. And the cost to buy one of these locks and put it on there is about the cost of a locksmith visit. We like to use the Schlage lock. It's got a little nine volt battery in there that seems to last for a couple of years. And it's more mechanical than it is electronic and easily, uh, uh, easily to secure your house. It's an actual deadbolt uh, that we, we recommend using. Houses that have exterior sprinkler systems, it's a really good idea if you'll move the sprinkler control box to the outside of the house so that landscaper can come on by and change the settings on the clock. Clocks are changed four times a year here in Southern Nevada. There's a spring setting, a fall setting, a winter and a summer setting. You get fined by the water district for violating those uh, the settings. If you're watering your lawn every day in the winter time when you're only allowed to do it once, it's a $250 fine. The cost to move the sprinkler control, the sprinkler clock outside, is less than $100, $150. And the landscaper can access it without having the tenant be home or having to get a code to the garage to get into the garage. So we recommend that you would do that. All of these things are done to save money in the long run. Might seem excessive on the, on the way in, but you'll be happy that it was done. If you got questions about other renovation ideas or you want to tell us what you think are good ideas, we'd love to hear from you.